All right, uh, hello all. Uh, this is a viewer request video on uh, using i3 desktop environment and uh, different panels. Uh, mainly it was the uh, XFCE4 panel uh, with a few, obviously a few tweaks to it. And basically how you would go about setting that up. Uh, there is a couple of things though. Um, sometimes the bar just, the, the panel down here just, will just crash. I'm not sure why. It could be a virtual box thing. But this is the final, pretty much the final product of what it looks like. Um, you can configure this to the top. This is at the top, obviously. And control M. I have screen key on, so you see the what I'm pressing. So I'm, that's uh, Alt M. Sorry, Alt M will hide it. As you see, at the top it's gone. Alt M to bring it back. And say if you launch, uh, you want to launch, uh, this will be a PC Man FM. That'll be in full screen mode. You uh, type type Alt, Shift, and Space. We'll bring it out of into a floating mode and then right click your mouse and resize. Okay, and then Alt, if you want it back to full, Alt, Shift, and Space. Then you can do uh, Alt 2 and bring up alt enter bring up your terminal and alt 3 you can down at the bottom bring up a, a web browser then uh, this is doc bar x so you can uh, toggle those you can also hide the uh, top window and still toggle between the two three desktops and whatever you know uh, control w to close uh, chromium Control D to close the uh, terminal, and Control Q to exit out of there. Control M to bring back the bar. I also installed OB logout and bound the Alt O, and I had to edit the configuration file to log out. Or and to log out period. That's all. Restart and shut down. I left out the other Hibernate stuff. That's all just through simple configuration, very simple, and escape to get out of there. All right, so far, and this is i3, so you do i3, two dashes, version, press enter, and you see here, i3 version 411, dot 4.11, control D to close that. All right, so that's an introduction, so what I'm going to do is roll back this virtual box virtual machine to where uh, just after installing Arch Linux and setting things up and you'll have just nothing don't you don't have no window manager or anything okay so um, let's get started with that and I'll obviously I'll be back in a bit okay so let's uh, get started with this uh, this is Arch Linux again obviously in virtual box uh, nothing's installed other than Arch Linux and a few tweaks but um, there's no desktop environment. So, as usual, my alias for sudo pacman capitalist is just pac. You can name it anything like add, program, whatever. So, I'm going to just uh, i3 and we'll get that D menu at the same time. D menu is a, a launcher, a program launcher uh, that works well with uh, i3. Okay, and it's very simple. Uh, you don't have to import an X in an RC. You just just uh, type nano and just uh, dot x x in it rc it's blank but uh it doesn't matter you just type in exec uh, i think i believe it's i3 uh control o and control x and then start x there we go and the first time it's running i'll zoom in here because the uh, text is pretty small uh you have not uh, configured an i3 it'll do it for you so you just type you can use the enter, just type enter, sorry. And you can use the arrow keys if you don't want to use the win key. You can have alt as a modifier. So I'll just leave it, leave it as the win. And you can it says you can always edit it later. So there's our uh, i3 status bar at the bottom. Uh, to launch programs, uh, you need, uh, I'm not sure what the, the, oh, sorry, it's a super in D. And that's... Uh, at the top there and to log out it's uh 
win key E, win key shift E, and then you have mouse over to exit. So we'll exit out of here for a second. Okay, so I'm just going to get uh, some programs through Pac-Man Termite. Uh, that's a terminal emulator. Uh, I found that when I was working with the BSPWM window manager. Or, yeah, and uh, XFC for panel. Uh, to show you an example, using a panel. Uh, GVFS. Uh, you need that for your trash can and volumes and stuff. PC Man FM. So just showing you a mix. So you have a, a terminal, um, a panel, uh, file manager, a web browser, and a text editor. Okay, so I'll just download those and I'll be back in a second. Okay, and I also typed on GTK dash engines to give us a few more themes. And also, I'm just going to uh, edit my uh, bash RC so it's not uh, colored because uh, it uses a different terminal and I can't see it until I change it. So, comment out the PS1. So, where are we? Start X. And we still have our bar. And now we have PC Man FM so we can launch our programs. PC Man FM. And so on. So, the super key and enter will bring up the default terminal and uh, we'll have to edit I find this too hard to see for me so since we have leaf pad we can uh, leaf pad our dot config i3 slash config file and we'll go down to where it has terminal right here uh, suggest maybe just comment out the default just in case and copy and press enter paste that in instead of i3 sensible terminal we'll just type in when i downloaded was termite control save control s to save and i believe it's a uh, super shift and c to uh set that if there's an error it would, it would come up so get out of here and get out of here i'm not sure if it'll be by default yet but super enter there it is, that's termite. Okay, so I made a, another directory in my the config file, i3 status, and then we just copy etsy i3 status config, okay, to dot config i3 status, and just call it config. And then we can uh, leaf pad that, for example. And if, uh, just a simple example, I'm, I don't use ipv6, just for the comment that out and uh, VPN or you're not using that wireless not using that you can leave these commands in here and also battery sorry uh, save and control no sorry wind wind key shift and C just log out with uh, super shift E and hopefully we'll see a difference there it is Okay. Now to edit where it is, and say we want it at the top, it's very simple to do with the other one, the i3 uh, config folder. Okay, I know there's two. There's config i3 and config i3 status. Most of the stuff we'll be con using is the config i3. All right. So if I uh, open PC Man FM um, with our. Uh, D, uh, D menu, go to your dot config. That's what I'm saying is i3 and i3 status. Okay, so let's go into our i3 directory and the configuration file. You can close uh, PC Man FM if you wish to. And just a few more things. You already made the uh, uh, modification to the uh, the termite, but there's other ones you can do. I would suggest maybe uh, commenting uh, like a custom uh, start or custom keyboard. So say around here, it doesn't matter that much. Put a comment custom start, and then not too many on the uh, keyboard side, but custom uh, key keyboard. All right. So custom keyboard, we want uh, bind S Y M, and say. Uh, a menu or something so I'm just gonna leave that out for now or we have to get a few programs that we want to at start up we already have XFCE for panel and the idea idea is to uh, start that up with a no um, 
startup ID and a no uh, don't check for the window manager and sometimes you can mess around with uh, a no window manager check with it having in there or not okay so for example custom start exact no startup ID uh, xfce4 dash panel uh, so it'll be the name of your program and then two dashes uh, specify the no um, window manager check uh, WM CHCK I believe disable save uh, super shift C hopefully sometimes it'll come back and tell you it was an error okay so I'm gonna leave it like that and so as you say if you want your this at the your uh, panel if you want the tray or whatever you, uh, this is called I forget now the status bar sorry uh, at the top you just uh, where it has bar here uh, just to press enter and I think the syntax might be important press tab and just put uh, pan, uh, position top save and check that was there it goes so I just uh, hit the super shift and C and it brings it up at the top as you can see here so let's see if the XFCE4 panel will start, if I got that right. So uh, Super Shift E to exit and start X. There it is. So we use uh, one panel and sometimes you can drag. There it goes. So I just grabbed it and dragged it down to the bottom. And of course there's nothing in here. So I'll probably want the Whisker menu plugin. So we'll just get that through uh, our terminal. Uh, I XFCE4 dash whisker menu dash plugin. It's hard for me to see, so let's see. If that's right. Yeah, it is right. Okay. Okay. So the whisker menu is installed, and I unchecked everything here except for the logout, and I changed this to OB logout. I found that the simplest one to work with. Um, so you just close that. Obviously, we don't have that installed yet. And just a sudo update db if you use lamb locate and we'll locate uh, whisker because I can never remember the full name xfce4 dash pop up whisker menu. All right, so we have to edit our configuration file. Okay, so bind sim exec xfce4 pop up but uh, we have to bind what uh, CTRL plus space and save and uh, win shift C doesn't look like there's any errors okay so let's log out and maybe there's an error so super space ah, there we go I'm sorry control space will bring up the menu if you wish to have it like that. Okay, and just a few programs for wallpaper. We'll get nitrogen. I'll get Arch Linux wallpaper, parcel it for a clipboard manager, and Alex appearance for our theme, and uh, TTF dash liberation or something for our fonts. There we go. So let's get our wallpaper happening. Uh, nitrogen on an and so it'll run while we're doing this. Uh, resize this super shift space bar. There we go. Preferences, add a directory, it's under USR, share, Arch Linux, wallpaper. Hit select, press OK, and it should populate that and apply, maybe zoom build or something, apply. Uh, I think it's super shift Q, yeah, to close something like a non, like the program doesn't have an X button, basically. So best thing is, uh, let's uh, edit our configuration, I guess, to start with, uh, except exec <laughs> no startup id we'll copy that and nitrogen two dashes uh restore store uh, file manager applications preferences well that'll work so clear looks there we go something a little better okay so moving on i just installed ob logout from pacman okay just to keep things straight and then we just uh sudo leafpad or nano whatever you want uh, dot uh, slash etsy ob logout dot conf and we'll take out uh, whatever you want logout uh, we'll address in a second 
But uh, I'm going to take out cancel because just press escape. And hibernate lock. Let's just then save. Now for the logout, um, it's a process kill command that you have to uh, type in here, right? Uh, where it has logout equals open box. Well, it's not open box, but uh, there is a way you can uh, get that to work. However, um, make sure you have a window manager or uh, things will go a little sideways on you. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to leave it as is for a second. Manual logout, the, the i3 way. And let's see if it'll. There it is. So, as I mentioned, I installed LXDM. Make sure you enable the service uh, through uh, sudo system CTL. And then uh, you can restart, probably the best thing. And uh, use the uh, login manager. Then we can put in that uh, OB logout command. So, I'll be back in a second. Okay, so after restarting, I wanted to go back to the i3 configuration. You can mess around with the fonts, like uh, if you have Cantrell bold, uh, installed, you can have bold icons 11. You can see that it's made a different, different things you can do. And at the bottom here, very bottom diamond, you can toggle the bar, this bar on and off with uh, find sim plus mod, whatever, the super key plus M, bar, mode, toggle. So I press super key and M, the bar, you can hide or unhide it. So let's address the uh, logout command for uh, PC, uh, for OB logo. So uh, sudo leafpad uh, etsy OB logout .conf. And right here, as I mentioned, just take this line out and it's pkill a dash, a dash and all cap, capital letters K I L L a dash U the dollar sign user. And let's try our logout. There we go. So, as I said, make sure you have a login manager, such whatever you wish, uh, because if you don't, things are going to be uh, really messed up when you try to log out like that. Okay. Now, from here on out, pretty much uh, to customize the panel, um, it's all through Yowart and the ultra flat icons and the GTK theme config, I believe. Uh, apologies, I forgot to put the. I want to install those, so I have to put a dash capital S. So you know the drill. You can edit or not the package builds and just let them download and uh, let them download, build, install, and so on. So I'll be back when this is finished. Okay, so once that's installed, especially the GTK theme configuration, uh, you have to go to your, into your file manager and control H to unhide. And what it, what the uh, GTK theme config is going to do is going to overwrite this gtkrc 2.0 file uh, so we have to make another one create new empty file uh, paste that in press ok ok so I'll close that and I'll leave this uh, the way it is customize look and feel we already have the clear looks theme now the icon theme we can get now is ultra flat there you go apply and you see that's changed here close there we go and now we'll go to scene configuration and this will overwrite what we just did so we'll say black background and panel text or whatever you want click apply and super shift Q to close that and then we'll just uh, log out We'll have lost our uh, custom icons and everything uh, because it's been overwritten. So we'll go back to our file manager, uh, GTKRC, as you can see what's what's happened. So we'll take this, Control A, Control C, and go to our MIME directory, Control V, save, and close that, close this, close this, <laughs> back to our custom settings. We have to reinitialize this. So clear looks, apply, and icon team, ultra flat, apply. Okay, I think we did it. We have the our icons now set and our um, panels changed. So we can go to uh, panel properties and make it uh, appearance. Oh, I'm so sorry. 
Uh, we can't make anything transparent yet because we don't have a composite manager. So I'll have to get that to another program, Yowart. Uh, I'm going to get Compton uh, dash git. And just build that and install. All right, so let's just run that Compton uh, dash B in the ampersand. There we go. Now it's uh, yeah. Um, sorry, the the panel just goes strange sometimes on us. There you go. If you open back, open up the dialog, it comes back. So, <laughs> so our appearance, you can drop that to eighty-five or eighty or whatever you want. And more stuff through uh, Yao Art. Um, I think I'm going to do one at a time. Well, actually, no, Doc Bar. X. Yeah. And we want uh, the last one, the plugin, so 9. And we want the theme uh, 7. It'll pull in Doc Bar X as well. So those two selections. And same drill. So then if those are installed, we'll just go to our panel and proper preferences. We'll add an item. Dot by X, add, close. You won't see anything at first. It's right here, you can see actually. And we'll just bring that up to just under the whisker menu. Oops, not that one, sorry. <laughs> Dot bar X. There it is, and it's it's right here. So that serves as a window, uh, you know, manager. Now the thing, window button manager. But the thing is, it won't minimize in uh, or maximize inside the uh, i3. But it is there. And uh, now we we'll go to dark bar um, preferences. Change the theme to the one we downloaded with shiny bar horizontal. Reload it. There you go. Okay. That's what the the viewer was asking for, how I did this. And window list, you can check show previews. It's not really going to show, but it makes it larger. That's up to you. But that's the idea. And finally, for uh, <laughs> what they, uh, the user asks is the mid-finger icon. It's not really mine. It's from Ultra Flat Icon. So you just click on the icon, give it some time to load up, and it's uh, Damon. There it is. Press OK. There you go. And you can have the title I3 mid finger, whatever you want. <laughs> there you go. And that's basically it. And you can uh, go on and do other settings from there. So there you have it. That's pretty much where I uh, started the this video. And this is what we finished up with. And do what you wish from uh, from there. Okay, so I hope that uh, covers as much of the questions that were asked, and uh, hopefully this works for you. And uh, let me know. And as always, thank you for watching, and we'll talk to you soon. And bye for now.